Brooks & Davis Real Estate Firm, LLC, offers more value than any other good full-service real estate brokerage firm when it comes to the sale of your home. We offer at least 27 things that contribute to your home selling in the least amount of time at the highest price. To receive our free home selling pamphlet, email us at info at or call 713-665-8329. Hello, this is Jeff Lynn. We also assist people who want to purchase homes or who are interested in getting their real estate license. Visit us at www.brooksanddavis.com. Are you an inspiring entrepreneur? Or maybe you're an entrepreneur looking to take your business to the next level. My name is Larry W. Brooks, and I am the author of Empowering Quotes for the Entrepreneur in You and the Entrepreneur Code. In these two books, I guarantee you there's success secrets that will take your business to the next level. I personally invite you to visit LarryWBrooks.com. Go under the books link and purchase your signed personal copy from myself. You have a great day and have an awesome 2020. Pure Hustle is not only a clothing brand, but it is a movement. I personally invite you to visit shoppurehustle.com. How do you survive? Happy Thursday. Welcome to the Prime Real Estate Network podcast. I'm your host, Rick Davis. If you don't follow me on social media, I urge you to do so at Prime Real Estate Rick. You can follow me at Prime Real Estate Rick on Facebook and Instagram. And if you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in commercial or residential real estate, you can also visit us at our website at brooksanddavis.com. It's an honor and a pleasure to be here with you this week, man. Uh, really excited about today's episode. We have a really outstanding and special guest sitting in with us this week. I want to thank her so much for carving time out of her schedule because I know how it is, especially with someone as scheduled as busy as hers. But before I introduce this week's guest, as always, Ryan with me is co-host of the Prime Real Estate Network. He's a Texas real estate broker, multi-time author, serial entrepreneur, known the world over <laughs> as the Texas real estate king, sitting here rocking out and modeling the new Pure Hustle tracksuit. My dude, Mr. Larry W. Brooks, what's happening, brother? Hey, man. What can I say? I love that intro, man. I'm, sometimes I just lay back and I watch the show on YouTube, man, and I be like, man, that intro right there? <laughs> I need to be paying my guy for that. That's what I'm saying. Hey, man, look, look, look. We got to get down to business because, see, you've been pumping <laughs> the new Pure Hustle tracksuits yeah. on IG, Facebook, and everywhere yeah. all week. Yeah. So l l let the people know, man. We got them. They're out here hot in the press, Come and they're available for order. Come on. Available for order. Tracksuit, man. Christmas, look, great Christmas you, gift. Look, if you know what your Nike fit, your Adidas fit is, that's the same fit. You know what I mean? When we do Pure Hustle, we do it top of the line. So we use the same resources they use. What can I say? You know, I've been blessed. And not so, only that, but look, if you got your Pure Hustle hat already, come you on, gotta you have got a tracksuit to go with it. Come, come on, on we trip. rocking and rolling every color that you need, really. Hey, look, can they have it before Christmas? If they before want it Christmas, it's done. No I got doubt. You. Forty-eight hours, I got you. And there it is, just man. like that, guys. Do you have women's sizes? We do have women's sizes. Yes, indeed. Oh, oh, that's amazing. Oh, oh, that's question. sweet voice. I got women's sizes. We ready to rock and roll. Wait, hold on, Larry. Yeah. The sweet voice just came out of nowhere. It that did. was just it out did. of the cosmos. So many bills. It's brought back memories. No, no, no. Look, see, I do this with you regularly, and those you who watch the show every week know often. that yeah. we ask Mr. Brooks to go deep into his black book of connections, uh -oh. <laughs> resources, uh -oh. business partners, family, and friends. Yeah. When we getting guests for the podcast, True. so so could you explain to our audience the links? That you had to go through to get our guests locked in for this Thursday. You know, when brother. you bring on famous guests, it's a little difficult to get them on the calendar from time to time. But I will <laughs> say, I will say that um, our roots, when it comes from that SFA era, yes. is solid. solid. Our friendships are validated. So ultimately, when you reach out to them, they may put you in, in, in contact with their PR people, <laughs> but they do get back with you, man. What can I tell you? And I love it. And then, you know, one of the lovely things about the SFA connection that we all have the luxury of enjoying yes, is sir. that from time to time, we have a chance to surprise all those other Texans who didn't have a chance to go to college with us. No doubt about it. With the level of talent yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. that that school produces that's right. on all levels. Yes, and I indeed. think today is one of those days. So without any further ado, Larry, I want to introduce this week's guest. She is a multi-time author. TV personality and talk show host. 
But most importantly, she is a proud SFA lady, Jack. So I'd like to introduce to everyone Thanks, in the Jax. Prime Real Estate Network audience to Miss Winter Patterson. How are you doing? I am great. Thank you so much for having me. Okay, now let's get down to business. Let's first get thing, into no, it. no, let's get down to business. First things first, so that people don't think me and Larry are making this up. Please publicly admit that you went to college with us, because even though you look no older than 26, <laughs> yeah. you definitely attended college with me and Larry. Please I just did. put that out there publicly. I did. Stephen F. Austin State University, yeah. Nacogdoches, Texas. Yeah. You know, we were the major, we were the minority, but it felt like the majority mm-hmm. while we were there. Did it felt like I we agree. was at an HBCU? That's right. I <laughs> but agree. we were right. not. But the cool thing about um, your path, winner, since we all had the opportunity to go to college together, is that. You've always continued to push forward, building your platform of inspiration, self-love. And it's hilarious because every time I would see you um, with either a blog post or a TV appearance or a radio appearance, I'd always say, oh, that's my old girl. People like, man, Rick, get out of here. Ain't no way y'all went to school together. So I want to ask you, and this will be the first question, could you talk to our audience a little bit about your platform and for those who haven't had an opportunity to interact with you since we were in school together let them know what you've been doing with yourself absolutely so i teach healing self-love um i think that the all of us have been through things whether it's childhood trauma relationship trauma whatever we've all gone through things and the key to healing is really loving yourself and the god within you Um, So I teach that. I've been teaching that for many years. I've written two books that all deal with self-love, with overcoming your past, with being the best person that you absolutely can. And that's been, you know, kind of the thing. Now I'm on a show on the own network called Ready to Love, um, which is just a unique experience in itself. But I'm all about how can we heal? How can we live our best lives, make the most money and, you know, just... You know, be successful. Your message has resonated with the public to such a strong degree that you've had opportunity to share your message on many different platforms, um, some very, very large, some independent like our own. But the thing about being able to watch you on the own network is that even though it is a reality show per se, your natural energy still comes through. Thank you. So... How Shout out to the old network, too. And oh. Jay, Jay, alumni Jay. Jay was oh, yeah, Jay show. Bradley, no doubt. Yeah, we yeah, got to yeah. represent alumni, no Prime doubt. Real Estate Network alumni. Big shout out. But what have you found to be the pluses of now becoming a public symbol from that standpoint? Because there are people now that are inspired and motivated by watching your evolution and your process. Mm -hmm. And for now that you to be on such a large platform, how has that changed the amount of people who come to you Mm -hmm. for your experience or how much more does your message now resonate to the public, you think? Well, you know, the show is still ongoing, but I believe, um, I appreciate you saying my energy comes through because I want it to be authentic, uh, authentic through the entire process. I wanted to be myself. I wanted you to see people go through ups and downs, hard decisions, love decisions, relationships, good and bad. Um, and so, you know, it definitely probably will make me even more approachable, I hope, to my to the people that follow me. Right. Um, to see, like, no, I'm not perfect, but I've learned a lot, and I know how to apply the lessons that I've learned to help me grow and be a better person. So I think it's going to expand my reach. It's crazy how many people watch the show, though. Like, on my way here, I stopped by the store, and a lady fell in the parking lot. Oh, wow. So I jumped out the car to help her up. She's like, you are ready to love. Oh, <laughs> <I'm> like, wow. <laughs> okay. I was dead. <laughs> wow. I was, you know, didn't even right. expect that. But wow. it's crazy how many people are watching the show. And I just pray that they, you know, like you said, the energy comes through. They see, you know, I'm authentic. And, yeah. you know, I'm going to make some mistakes in love. And I'm going to have some wins in love. And, you know, whether you see it on the show or not, I am a real person. I think one of your um, strongest qualities is your ease of transparency. A lot of times, especially people in your position, when you meet um, new contacts, new uh, business partnerships and people along those lines, they tend to undervalue your evolutionary process. Hmm. They tend to think that that what they see right now is what it's always been. Now, um, us having a background of knowing each other for over 20 years is different, but could you share with our audience 
how you have to illustrate for people that growth is a continual evolutionary thing. Yes. Like people didn't know a lot of people for the first time heard a piece of my story about my divorce, about how I was married and three weeks into my marriage, my husband cheated three Mm. weeks. Wow. Um, And so it just it just shows people like I've lived through something. I rebuilt myself through something. And these are things that we can all use to help ourselves to, to pull up our, to pull ourselves up, right. um, to rebound from, you know, devastating experiences like that. Um, and it, it just shows that like I'm real. Like I said, right. like I'm a real person. And then, you know, with relationships, like self love is not a one and done thing. Mm-hmm. You don't just arrive at this place of self confidence where you don't get shook or you don't go through things. Right. That's just not how it works. Mm-hmm. You go through bad business deals, bad, you know, relationships, right. family situations where maybe you didn't set boundaries. And those are all situations that you have to look at through the lens of self love and, re- right. you know, redirect. Yep. And so I hope that, you know, people, see that like no it's not like I've arrived at this state of confidence and I got it all together like no I'm up and down but I'm practicing things every day that make my life 100% better than it would be if I didn't I agree with the challenges um, that we all have been dealing with in 2020 Mm -hmm. have you felt your message changing or have you felt that the intensity of your message is more needed right now because as an entrepreneur and businesswoman it's more to your being than just um, social, relationship-wise. There's also a professional aspect, Mm -hmm. a financial aspect. And with 2020, have you found that the people who come to you for your experience and consultation need more of a well-rounded approach, or does your message continue to be consistent, you think? That is an excellent question. Because one thing I started to adopt in 2020 was a message of abundance, too. Mm. You know, Larry, we love abundance. Uh, yes, we do. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> hey, because some people feel like, OK, all the resources are gone. I can't make money anymore. And it's like people don't realize abundance is a state of mind. There That's is right. never a shortage of resources. There's never a shortage of customers. Yep. There's never a shortage of people who want to hear your message. You have to shift your mindset and understand that I am in an abundant world with an Thanks. abundant God and there's no limit. Yep. And so I had to incorporate that as part of my teachings as well. Like, okay, let's love ourselves and also understand like you could still make money. You could still prosper. Yep. Nothing has stopped. That's, that's so true. You know, and I always tell people because people be like, well, this person has already done this. P- this person already ordered this, t- authored this type of book. And they, I was like, don't worry about that. You still there's still space. There's people out there that are looking at you that will trust you before they trust somebody that's on a on something doing this every day. There's just value in it. So like you said, if you think of abundance, like it'll come. Like mm-hmm. you just got to have that open minded, that hardness, that, that ready to receive. Mm-hmm. I got excited when I heard the word abundance. Every <laughs> no, morning I say that. You know, I respect you so much because I feel like you understand the principle of abundance. Like you keep yeah. putting stuff out there. You keep reinventing Thank yourself. You. Like vertically integrating, <laughs> horizontal integration, all of that, because you understand you. the principle of abundance. Yes, like, indeed. There's people out there. Yep. Thank you. Mm-hmm. You know, the um, interesting part, and that's a great segue, and I love that you brought that up, Larry, because you're an author as well. Mm-hmm. And 2020, for every obstacle that is put in the front of people, it is also presented an opportunity. Mm-hmm. And I happen to know, because we were talking about this before we started recording, that you're working on a new book. Mm-hmm. Can you talk about what it is you're working on without giving away too much? Okay. And how 2020 had, is a reflection and how that is actually a part of what it is that you're writing for the book that's coming up. Yes. So my new book is really about self-love and breaking it down because I think there's a lot of misconceptions. People think self-love is I am confident. Here's a good picture of me. Selfie, mm. selfie. I love myself. And it's like way more than that. Self-love is like can I look at my demons can I look at my shadow side? Can yeah. I be honest with what's wrong with me and make some, you know, real changes? Can I forgive people who have hurt me? Like all of that is self-love. Right. So that will go into the book. And um, I think it's necessary in 2020 because we all, you know, we, we have to really love our, ourselves through these trying times. That's right. You know? Yep. Man, that's so deep, man. We're going to take a short break here from our sponsors. But if you don't mind, when we come back, I want to talk to you a little bit about your life before 
entrepreneurism, okay. your life before you decided to become a kick butt businesswoman, <laughs> world mm-hmm. inspiration. Because like we were talking about earlier, I want to give the audience opportunity to have an idea of the path that you follow so that those that are in your position can try to emulate some of your steps, if you don't mind. Absolutely. I can't wait. I want to thank everyone for tuning into the Prime Real Estate Network podcast. Please stay tuned as we take a break to hear from our sponsors. This is Rick Davis, realtor and host of the Prime Real Estate Network. Are you currently leasing or looking to relocate to the Houston area and you find yourself falling in love with the home but aren't quite in a position to purchase? Well, no worries. We offer the Right to Purchase program. We can place you in the home of your dreams at current market rental rates and give you up to three years to buy. Did you know that a majority of the homes that are for sale offer better quality than those that are for rent? So why wait? Don't cheat yourself. Treat yourself. Let me and my team help you purchase a home that you and your family can fall in love with. Give me a call today at 832-928-3963. And remember to follow the Prime Real Estate Network podcast on YouTube, Facebook, iTunes, Spotify, and Google Play. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Be blessed. Welcome back to the Prime Real Estate Network. I'm your host, Rick Davis. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Prime Real Estate Rick. If you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in commercial or residential real estate, please visit our website at brooksanddavis.com. As always, my co-host is the Texas Real Estate King, Mr. Larry W. Brooks. What's going on, my dude? Hey, what can I say, Ricky? Enjoying the show. Got an amazing friend on here dropping gems and nuggets. And those of you that are not taking part in self-care, she's going to tell you a little bit about her journey here in a moment. But I want you, our Facebook friends, we love you, we love you. But please go take a look at our YouTube page. Make sure you subscribe like the page leave a comment it's always appreciated matter of fact leave a comment tag a friend and i'll send you i'll send you a free gift how about that in addition to that we have a patreon page so our patreon page we're we're in the process of putting together some amazing information that's going to be only to those secret subscribers so most definitely go to the patreon page and uh be a blessing plant a seed we will appreciate it and so with that being said back to the show Man, it's great, man. I want to introduce our guest. She is not only an author, a TV personality, but she's also a renowned talk show host. She's a proud alumnus of Stephen F. Austin State University, and it's always an honor and a pleasure for Larry and myself to hang out with esteemed Lady Jack. So I want to introduce <laughs> to the Prime Real Estate Network audience, Miss Winter Patterson. How you doing? I am excellent. So glad to be here. I appreciate you for sitting in. You gave us so many priceless gems in the first segment of our interview with you, but I want to take some time to let our audience get to know the woman, who you are, and how you evolved into what people see to you today on print, television, and online. Mm -hmm. So could you talk about after you graduated from college, what did you do before you decided that this path was the path that you wanted to travel on? Yeah, actually, when I got out of college, I started working for Chase Bank. Mm-hmm. which was um, an excellent career. I worked 14 years as a sales executive, vice president, branch manager, um, really um, working in the affluent market downtown for Chase. So I got a lot of really good priceless training on how to deal with mortgages and business mm-hmm. owners and just great stuff. From there, I went on to business consulting, which is what I'm doing currently. Wow. Um, And somewhere in the process, I realized, like, my life was not just breaking the glass ceiling in corporate America. Um, Somewhere in that process, I was like, okay, I love media. I love TV. I want to do my own thing. I want to manage myself. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, became the the shift for me, moving out of corporate America. But I'm so grateful for all of the great teaching that I got, you know, building teams with Chase Bank. It really did transfer. So, okay, wow. And see... Larry and I, is, we ask every entrepreneur and business person that we have sitting in the seat the same question. What happened the day you were working for Chase mm-hmm. and you decided that enough is enough? Mm-hmm. If you remember the day of the week, if you mm-hmm. remember the circumstances, all that would be really cool because there's always a tipping point. There is. And Larry and I are always very curious of what manifested this and what was the tipping point for you personally? Mm-hmm. I don't remember the tipping point, but I do remember when I started, you know, I said, okay, I'm going to write some books. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I want to go on tour and I want to teach and give all of this great message. And I start calling my friends and everybody was like, okay, I'm about to quit my job. And everybody was like, 
Wait, slow down. Hold on. <laughs> like, on, slow down. You don't want to do that just yet. <laughs> <laughs> Like I was ready to jump out the pot, and I think you know, for entrepreneurs, I always tell people like, you don't. As soon as you get an idea, don't just jump out. Like yeah. keep your. I kept my day job for many years afterward, and kept you know, and I use my business, my chase income to finance the vision. That's right. That's how you invest in yourself. That's exactly right. to finance the publishing of my book, to finance my ten city tour, like. And it was, you know, from there, I began to build enough income to where it made sense to leave. No doubt. I like it. Mm -hmm. Now, see, I have to get, because I want to make sure that we illustrate for everyone that these type of decisions aren't things that you make in a vacuum. No. Mm -hmm. You consider all types of different things that could occur, best case scenarios, worst case scenarios. Who can you credit? as an inspiration Mm -hmm. it's funny because larry and i like you said we ask people this question every week is is there a member of your family was there a close personal friend a member of your close circle that might have been a business person entrepreneur that Mm might have shown you a path or at least motivated you to jump out on faith is there anyone that you could credit as far as being an inspirational spark for you absolutely there was my best friend ramon harper he passed away october 3rd 31st 19. So mm-hmm. last year. Wow. Um, and he was a consultant on a very high level. Um, so I and I had the pleasure of him being my best friend. So he would yeah. listen to my ideas and be like, OK, um, scratch. That doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, try this, do that. And even when I went to go start my talk show, he made the phone call and said, hey, this this is a person you should invest in. Yeah. Um, so now I have my talk show on Miko TV. And that was all because of him. But I had him um, who really sat down with me and. He had, you know, helped million, multi-million dollar corporations, and I had him in my ear yeah. saying, this wow. is right, this is wrong. <laughs> hurt my feelings, yeah. which you need. That's what you need. You need somebody that's going to hurt your Those feelings. strong mentors right. like that, they just don't come around every day. So, no. And then especially someone that's going to pour into you the way that he did. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. Um, but I, and, then, and then you to have the wisdom to take in that information, right, mm-hmm. to be able to receive the information as he was giving it to you. So that's good. Yeah, it was yeah. through some tears, though, because I'm like, what you mean <laughs> it's not going to work? I mean, you know. You know, the cool <laughs> thing about your personality, and of course everybody might not know this, but you're a high achiever which then makes you a natural competitor. Mm -hmm. But you're also a giver, though. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the giving and the wisdom that you share on your podcast and your talk show. Mm -hmm. Can you talk to our audience a little bit about Wine with Winter? Yes. Um, And how they can check you out? You know what? You are so intuitive. (laughs) Do you know that? I know you, though. (laughs) She, Larry, she act like we don't know each other. This is hilarious. <laughs> but she you, just didn't know I was noticing. That's the thing. That's there what it is. Was. That's right. it, baby. Um, no, I, I really want to provide inspiration. It's called um, Wine with Winter, where we provide. Hold on, real quick plug. Wine, if you got a wine company out there, we're looking for a sponsor. So no doubt. Wine with Winter, it just makes sense, guys. Reach out. When she leaves her contact information, reach out or reach out to the podcast. We need a sponsor. Why we win? It just makes sense. It Come on, Brooks. That's what I'm yeah. talking about. That's Thank why you're sitting you. right there, my dude. It just makes sense. Absolutely. Love you. Go ahead, please, <laughs> my dog. Um, So it's wine with winter, inspiration over wine. And I feel like people want to hear people's backstory. You know, like, yeah, people want to hear the gossip, but they really want to know how did you get to where you are, Mm -hmm. you know? And I want to provide a platform where you can hear about people who you don't know about, what they're doing, how they got there, what inspires them. And so that's what the, um, the show is about. I have the pleasure of interviewing a few of my castmates who we see what they are on the show, but they got some dope people oh yeah. wait 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 wait! so now you're giving us some behind the behind the behind <laughs> the scenes <laughs> go ahead i didn't know that. see yep. she's breaking news here everyone i did not know that before i asked the question yes go ahead. so i have about four episodes up now you can find just google wine with winter on youtube and you can find it and um just trying to give you some inspiration sounds good yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. and know, we talk about the self-love question of the day to see how people practice self-love and self-care so that's a big cornerstone of the show as well wow and one of the things I cannot let you leave um, this interview without asking you about this, because I know it's tough because you don't want to toot your own horn. But I also have been very impressed with your charitable endeavors. Mm-hmm. One of the main Thank platforms you. of your business and your brand is reaching out 
to young girls. Mm -hmm. And if you wouldn't mind, and like I said, I know a lot of these things you don't do to publicize, but could you talk about some of your charitable endeavors and who you work with and why that's so important to you? Absolutely. So I had the Pearl Academy, which was for 7th through 12th grade girls, mm -hmm. um, to provide real mentorship, solid mentorship, being who I needed when I was in the 7th through 12th grade. Yeah. Um, and that was an amazing ex experience. We got a chance to give some scholarships to um, our graduating seniors. Um, and that was you know, the biggest blessing. We also, um, I did a lot of mission work in Honduras. <sighs> People don't know that for in Honduras, you have to pay to go to school. Wow. And if <laughs> there are multiple kids in the family, the girls don't get to go. Wow. wow. Right? To this day? To this day. Wow. Yeah. Um, if there's three boys and one girl, then, and they can afford, they're going to send maybe two of the boys or three of the boys, and the girl will probably be at home cooking. Wow. And so we raised enough money to send 53 girls to school, um, bought them clothes, their uniforms, everything they need so that they could go to school. And we also funded two school districts there. So Wow, that's mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah. You know, you know, it's so deep because we all come from a background where we see the value in giving back to that um, next generation because Larry talks about it a lot, especially yeah. at his school. There were programs in place. No there were programs it. in place in my school, and I'm sure you were able to take advantage of programs as well. And a main part about being successful is the charitable endeavors and the giving back. So I want to commend you publicly for the stance that you've taken and how much you commit and put into that part of what thank it is you. that you're building. So I want to thank you so much for what it is that you do. Thank you. But could you share with our audience before we have um, the wind down today's episode how they can stay in contact with you, mm -hmm. how they can follow you, and how they can take advantage of all the wisdom that you share on a regular basis? True. I am on social media as Winter Patterson, Winter with a Y, W-Y-N-T-E-R, Patterson. Um, Instagram, Facebook, all Winter Patterson. Um, my website is winterpatterson.net. And YouTube, just Google Wine with Winter and I'll come up. And, um, yeah, and then on the OWN Network every Friday night at 8 p.m. Yeah, mm -hmm. good show. I enjoy it. Have okay. you enjoyed it? I did. I enjoy it. It's, um, uh, I've had a chance to see all, you know, because of the pandemic, we've had an opportunity to just really catch up on shows. So I've True. seen all seasons in three I'm really enjoying. I now I'm a, I might be biased because it's in the H. Right. But um, I do appreciate seeing a large amount of my friends up there doing amazing things. So. For sure. Hey, man, and shout out to the host, Tommy, man. You know, he yeah, big Ike represent him, man. You know, we oh, yeah, north side yeah. to the fullest. So oh, yeah, you did you, say he got a little on, Ike man, in it. Come on, man. It's north side. That's one in Gulf Bank. So, you know, we're going to represent when it's time. <laughs> That's what's up. So, <laughs> Mr. Brooks, man, uh, before we sign off this week, is there any message you would like to share with the audience? Any uh, meet and greets? Any appearances? What's going on with the Texas Real Estate King this weekend, bro? You know, the thing is, is that I will be here in the city. Oh, but, whoa. Yeah, yeah. I'm hanging out in the city this this week. But here's my thing. I'll find you. You don't have to find me. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yes, man, sir. I want to thank you, Larry. This has been an um, outstanding episode. I urge everyone, if you don't follow Miss Winter, please follow her on Instagram at Winter Patterson. Um, follow, check out Wine with Winter. This is a great spirit, a great woman. She's not only a leader, but she's a high achiever, and she's a giver. So take advantage of everything that she's sharing on her platforms, if you don't mind. As always, I want to thank you. Mr. Brooks would like to thank you. And if you need anything as far as real estate investment consultation, buyer consultation, or to schedule a listing appointment, please visit our website at brooksanddavis.com because we're only an inbox, text, or DM away. On behalf of myself and the Texas Real Estate King, I'd like everyone to tune in next week. And until then, be blessed. Be blessed. Brooks and Davis Real Estate Firm, LLC, is marketing a property for sale right now that you can buy. These properties range from land lots for under $20,000 to move-in ready homes $500,000 and more, along with everything in between. To see this week's list of properties for sale you can buy now, go to bit.ly backslash BDREF weekly list. That's B-I-T dot L-Y backslash BDREF weekly list. If you plan on selling some real estate and you need it on the weekly list, call 713-665-8329 to speak with someone about it.